This is Gene Key, KTDD News. Wind became a big problem for several agencies yesterday with reports of power outages across the Panhandle. Dumas and Delhart had reported several outages. High winds knocked down power lines in scattered locations across the Panhandle, according to an Excel Energy spokesman. The Excel website yesterday showed there were 83 outages affecting 6,302 customers in the area. Officials reported a tractor trailer on Farm to Market Road 1912 blew over and a roof blew off a structure north of Amarillo. Amarillo National Weather Service meteorologist Steve Bladeau says there were high wind warnings out for most of the area. Winds reportedly reached near 70 miles per hour. Sustained winds had been as high as 53 miles per hour, causing long delays and cancellations at Rick Husband's International Airport. The westbound lane of Highway 60 near Hereford was shut down yesterday for several hours after a pileup. According to the Deaf Smith County Sheriff's Office, the wreck happened on Highway 60 near the way station. The visibility in the area was limited due to the high winds and blowing dust. Amarillo.com reports Potter County Sheriff Brian Thomas said the wildfire near the Canadian River that began Saturday night flared up again Sunday due to high winds. The fire was located on the south side of the river near Chicken Creek between State Highway 136 and U.S. Highway 287, nine miles south of the Moore County line. Police evacuated campers from the Rosita Flats area as a precaution. No injuries were reported. Thomas said there was also a grass fire Sunday between U.S. Highway 287 and Interstate 40 east of Amarillo. Amarillo.com reports two teenagers died in a traffic collision on West Amarillo Boulevard early Sunday morning, about 1.15 a.m. Kaylin Pearson, 19, was driving a white Cadillac westbound on the boulevard when she turned left onto North Florida Street, according to Amarillo Police. An eastbound Chevrolet Tahoe struck the passenger side of the vehicle. A justice of the peace pronounced Pearson and her passenger, Kernice Jonf, 19, dead at the scene. Autopsies have been scheduled. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD News.